keep up the support. Let me ask you a question. As a person, if you could um, separate yourself for a second as Rick Seaback, employee and asset to WQED and um, public television, but just Rick, the human being, where do you, if, if public television and public access both went away on a national level, what would your feelings on that be and why? Well, obviously I'd be upset because I think that public television, public broadcasting um, provide, you know, something that you don't find on the other channels. And, and sometimes people ask me that, why are you never gone to commercial television? And right. I, I say, you know, but there's nothing on commercial television that I, I see that's anything like what I do. And that's I don't know that commercial television would have ever let me do what I do. So um, I'm happy in public television. I still think we do a lot of great stuff. And uh, there's a lot of value there. Oh, it, there is for sure. And I mean, mm -hmm. and people, people make it known. I mean, there was this famous, uh, you know, uh, poll taken in the last year or two where public television was the most trusted institution in America. And so, I mean, I, th I, I think people realize there's an importance to it. And, uh, you know, every time uh, someone in the government tries to zero us out, there's usually a cry. Um, and well, because people do value public television, especially parents of young children who know that you can get really great programming for kids on public television. Um, and then, you know, uh, in the evening, there's a wide variety of things, and you know, we can. Uh, oh yeah. We want to keep all of that up, and so you know, it's, I, if if this were all to go away, I think we'd have a huge gap in our uh, in our culture. So I, I, I say, uh, you know, go public television, and uh, and go public access. Let's get and it. go public Good access job. as well. Well, you know, I want to get Chris to get his um, questions in, but I do have two other calls. Chris, do you mind answering this call? And then right after this call, go from this call, when the call ends, and you can you know, tell people we're gonna move on or whatever. Once this call ends, it's your turn to ask Rick a series of questions, question or questions. And it's time for me to take a little, little break right, so caller. I can look at my notes. Call, you there. If people would unmute me, I'm here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Donna, that's his sister, the one that has the bad leg. Speak up, we can't hear you. I gotta ask this question to Rick. Okay. Did you ever, you did the thing about Kennywood. Did right. Did you ever do anything about the trolleys? Oh yeah. Cars? About the trolleys, yes. Yeah, and, the, and things that aren't there anymore, we did quite a bit about old street cars and you know, the, the network of wires that was overhead so that you had electricity for the street cars. And we even followed some of the old routes. We, we, had some great old movies that showed the whole fine view line um, here on the north side and you know uh, we, we rode one of the streetcars that still existed then out to the uh, to the Drake Loop in Upper St. Clair and um, you know we did quite a bit about trolleys in that show called Things That Aren't There Anymore. Okay, Chris might have that one because last night we were watching the one about Kennywood. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's you know the Kennywood, obviously, is, I, I think that's the one that most people know. Um, you know, if, if someone said, I don't know your work, I'll say, have you ever seen Kennywood Memories? And that seems to be the one that most people here in Pittsburgh know. Okay. Well, if he has that one, we'll watch it. If, there's a, if you don't have it, is there a way you can get that one? I what? have that. Oh. He has it, Donna. Okay. Well, I'm just no, asking in case somebody wanted it that don't have it. Thank you very much. That's exactly the question I thought you were asking. And you can. You can get any one of my programs. They're all still in print. And you can do that by either calling WQED and the number, we have a, a part of our organization is called Shop WQED. And there you can buy any one of these. They're about 20 bucks a piece. Um, and you can go to, you can call 1-800-274-1307. I'll say that again because I said it pretty fast. It's 41, and I'm sorry, it's 1-800-274-1307. That's okay. Shop WQED. Or if you have access to the internet, you can go to shopwqed.org. And that'll take you, you can see there's pictures of all the shows. In fact, I think there's a link on the internet to a promo for each one of the shows. So you can sort of see some of the footage um, if you want to invest in one of the programs. And uh, 
Boy, I think there's uh, about 35 now that you can get through yeah, Shop um, WQED. There's so. like three pages full. <laughs> three link pages full. Um, but I do want to, before we go to Chris, Donna, do you have some hellos to say real quickly? Yes, to a lot I of do. people. I want to say hello to Paul and Diane, Fred, Zink, Matt, and Kristen from the Arby's in West Mifflin. And Diane and Paul and Fred, we met at the McDonald's in North for Sales. Right. And then a happy birthday to happy happy birthday to Wayne Masquith, Bobby Nash, Chris Wise, Travis Heist, Joey Shetter, and that's all the birth and, Tra and Tashi Lynn. And okay. That's all the birth and congratulations. And I actually have some to hellos to say real quick. I want to say hello. This is going to sound odd, but I want to say hello to the guy who was driving on East Carson Street who passed me by. And he yelled out, hey, that's the TV guy. So I didn't get your name. I didn't get a chance to say hello to you. But, guy, if you ever watch this again, I'm saying hello to you. And also, I was at a local pretzel shop that has delicious pretzels. I won't say where. But I happened to uh, meet another viewer. And uh, two things about that. I want to say hi to the person I met at the pretzel shop. And also, I want to say something. If you ever meet me in person, um, I'd be glad to give you an autograph if you want one from a guy with a comb over. And the cost of the autograph is an amazing amount of zero. I would never charge for an autograph. I appreciate you watching. But um, I just want to say hi to those two gentlemen that I met. And uh, as far as the, the pretzels, I love soft pretzels. Maybe that could be the next one. Soft pretzels in Pittsburgh. <laughs> I know where you were. You were on the south side. I know where I was. But I can't shop. advertise. I know where I was. You I know did where a, I was. I did I a story about the pretzel shop. You did a story about the pretzel shop. It's, what it's, one was it's, that in? It's in south side in my show called oh, South yeah, Side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just because you're over here on the north side, you you know. When you go to the north side, you forget all about the south side. <laughs> I'm just kidding, south side. <laughs> I'm just kidding, south side. At any rate, do um, you have any other, oh, and other, other yeah, things that we need Frank, to tell the audience? Frank, this, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. He lives in the north side. Yeah. His birthday's this month also. And then congratulations to <laughs> Jeannie and Stephen. It's their wedding anniversary. And okay. congratulations to Sherry and George Court. Okay. Well, they just got good. married a couple of weeks ago. What about congratulations to me and my comb over? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Congratulations to you, too. Oh, I'm just being silly. At any rate, um, well, Donna, I want to say we miss you here. And for the audience, as you know, I've said in the past that Donna has some injuries. Well, right now, Donna is going through some pain. She has a fever in her leg. And all of this happened because of a, a spider bite about 11 years ago. And the damage was extensive. She's had... 10 or 13, 13 operations. 13 operations on my foot. How many? 13. 13 operations. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, right now she has a couple of wounds that are possibly going to send her into the hospital this Sunday. And so that's why she's not here. Now, if you're wondering why my resident Gracie Allen, Kathy Payer, is not here, she's at home taking care of Donna. And I do want to say before, before we move on, Donna, and we get the next call, I just want to say uh, happy birthday to you, young man. Thank you. Chris Brat White. I am a brat. And you I, are a brat. I, keep, I work hard ready. to keep my reputation. Hey, yada, yada. Well, at any rate, we're going to move on, Donna. I, I will plan on seeing you tonight. You better stay off that foot or you're going to be yelled at by me. Off my foot and dinner is cooking as we speak. What is for dinner? Well, you got a choice. Either hot sauce, each pizza, chicken, or steak. I'll have hot dogs and chicken. I'll have pizza. And I'll have hot dogs in honor of the hot dog show that Rick did, that Rick hot has dogs. done. You mentioned hot dogs. I said hot sausage. Well, then in that case, get hot dogs. Well, I oh, hot sausage is a good Hot subject. sausage is all right. I'm Italian. I'll eat some hot sausage. Well, anyway, we're going to move forward. We'll see you no, later don't tonight. Forget, it's Donna's Kitchen. All right, Donna's Kitchen. That's right. Live at her house, it's Donna's Kitchen. <laughs> Give me your order, and the only thing is we don't deliver. <laughs> well, we're going to fix that problem. Oh, darn. All right, well, anyway, we're going to move on, Donna. God bless you. God bless you guys, too, and you guys be careful going home.
Yeah, I we will. will. Don't worry, I'll have my seatbelt on. I wanted to meet you, but under circumstances, I couldn't be there. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get to meet you too, but it was nice talking to you. Thanks, honey. And hopefully one day, if you ever come back again, maybe next time I'll get to meet you. Excellent. All right, you guys be careful and have a good night. Thank good you. Night. You're welcome. Bye. Well, Chris, you it's your turn. Um, what, to get the next caller or, or ask a question? Well, I guess to get the next caller and this, then ask a question. Uh, go ahead, caller. Hello. 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 Hi. Uh, my name is Merritt Spear. I used to work with Rick. Wow. And I'd love to ask Rick a question. Go for it. I hope it's not too hard. <laughs> it's not going to be too hard. This, I, gotta I just uh, noticed that everybody who's calling in really likes the uh, local shows. And I'm wondering if there is going to be anything local. Your focus has been national for a while, and I'm just wondering if you have any local stuff in the works. Actually, we, we do have something new coming up locally, um, and uh, it's unlike anything else we've done, or anything else that I've done in the 23 years I've been at WQED. Um, starting November 3rd, I'm going to have my own half-hour program every Wednesday evening. and. Uh, we're calling it It's Pittsburgh and a lot of other stuff. Yeah, that'll be exciting. So it will include a lot of Pittsburgh stories um, and uh, maybe a, an attempt to update some things if we can. And uh, uh, a magazine format show that will have lots of different stories. And I hope that we can just make it as interesting as the, uh, the documentaries have been all this time. Well, I think that sounds very exciting. I'm very excited for that. We're sitting at our dinner table watching you stream over the internet because we don't live in the city and we can't get the channel 21 but you're coming across just great excellent is my comb over shining through yeah, it, it looks like a true comb over okay there it is <laughs> my sister night. pulled Thank out you. my hair at seven years old and that's why i never came back <laughs> look what I'm a beautiful sorry. day it is behind us that's great <laughs> yeah actually i took that shot myself over in um South Park about two months ago. In this new program, we're going to have uh -oh. a regular feature. Uh oh. Which is better, North Park or South Park? Ooh, what do you say, Al? Well, you know, they both have their charms, but I like water. So, being that I like water. There is no lake in North Park I, right now. I, oh, there isn't? No, it's drained. Oh, they drained the lake? Well, then in that case, South Park. South Park, South Park, South Park. South Park wins by long shot. No, South Park is beautiful, but it does have something that most other parks don't. It has the wildlife preserve. And so, therefore, you get to see the buffalo. You get to see um, the deer and a few other things. And so, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to go with... South Park. And of course, I have to go with South Park because that's where I got that wonderful shot. Excellent. Yeah, well, um, I don't know if we have another call or not, but let's, let's get Chris Thanks, to get... Merritt. Yeah, thanks for calling in. Thanks for watching. Donna's wow. back on? I feel honored, actually. Well, I know no, that... We have a caller. Is Donna back on? Is Donna back on? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, go ahead, Donna. Guess what? We forgot to say hello to Mark from the McDonald's in North, 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 North for sales. I forgot where we were at. And, and you, to thank him. Yeah, that's what I mean. Thanking him for helping push the van when we ran out of gas. Oh and that's boy. how I hurt my foot. Yeah, um, well, that's how you re-injured it. Yep. Actually, let me quickly say, because we're running out of daylight at 641. But um, I, wanted, I do want to thank Mark. We did run out of gasoline, and Mark actually assisted and a North Versailles police officer actually assisted. And so did Kathy and so did Donna. And unfortunately, I speak about financial yeah, issues and stuff. Well, it was another time where I just didn't have the green. So we ran out of gas and that was a weird night anyway because after we ran out of gas, we tried to go home. We couldn't get home for a minute, tried to go home. And then we had some other strange, weird obstacles come up. So I actually did a podcast on www.talkshoe.com, and I titled it, We Could Not Get Home. I get felt like we were in a mini in twilight morning. zone. Oh, were you on Route 30? Uh, actually, no. When we were on Route 30, and we ran out of gas about a 